What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to show you guys how to manage your Linux server using a web interface. So the application that will allow you to manage your Linux server in a web based uh, interface is called Webmin. Now let me go to the website so I can show you guys a little bit information on it. So it's basically webmin dot com uh, and it basically says webmin is a web based interface for system administrators for Linux uh, using any browser that supports tables and forms and Java for the file manager module. You can set up user accounts, uh, Apache, you can manage Apache, uh, you can manage your DNS, um, you can do file sh sharing and it's uh, a bunch of other stuff you can uh, manage. Um, they have uh, they have a they have a couple of third party modules uh, that are built by that were built by diff different people that uh, contributed to the actual project. Um, but the the actual author or developer is Jamie Cameron. I like this application because it's tailored to people that or just getting into Linux and you can manage the, the whole server. You can do mostly everything from this uh, web, from the web browser, which is way easier than using a terminal. So, so with that said, I wanna go through and do an installation of it and show you guys how it works. So let's get started. Now, the main thing with this server that you're going to install Webmin on is it has to be a web server. So you have to have LAMP installed, which is basically Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So you need that installed because Webmin is a web-based application. So you need to have that web server up and running. Now, the first thing we need to do is update the sources list. And the way you do that is type in a command sudo nano um, and then etc apt sources list dot list and press enter on that and what we're going to do is edit this file and like I said this will add the uh, repository for webmin and all you have to do is go down to the bottom you can comment out and say this is the webmin repository press enter on that and then add your repository underneath it. So it's dev space HTTP colon forward slash forward slash uh, download dot webmin.com uh, forward slash download forward slash rep repository. And then you want to type S A R G E and C O N T R I B. And so we have added it, and all we have to do is save this file, hit Control X, and hit Y for yes, and press Enter, and it will save that file. So now that we've added the repository, we need to now make sure the system trusts this new repository by adding the uh, PGP key. And the way you do that is first download the key and the link is um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.webman.com or slash J C A M E R O N dash key dot A S C. And we're going to use W get. I, I forgot to say that before this, but yeah, W get will download the file directly from the website. And it's basically the key. So press enter on that. It'll download the key. And as you can see, it's a text file. Uh, download it from the webmin server. So now we need to add this key so the system will trust it. And the command for that is sudo apt 
dash key add and then J C A M E R O N dash key basically the name of the key and you can tab it out because it's saved in that directory that we were in when we downloaded the key so just press enter and it's actually our home directory so press enter on that it'll add the key to the system now that that's done I ran across a, a error before when playing around with uh, installing webmin on a different server and there was an issue where I had to make sure these repositories were enabled because by default they were disabled in a certain version at 18.04 so now I just always check but um, you basically want to check and make sure the universal um, repository is ad enabled or universe sorry and and it's already enabled and then also you want to check and make sure the multi multiverse uh, repository is enabled yeah like I said I, you don't have to do this but I ran into that issue before so I just wanted to make sure those uh, repositories were enabled so now that that's done let's run a update on the system that way it can refresh that newly added repository with the system so sudo app update and as you can see that repository is right here download.webman.com that's the repository and it's checking against those repositories as well as the other repositories that we have on the system um, that are installed from Ubuntu by default. I'm not sure why this is taking so long. It shouldn't take this long. Okay, so I tried a different, uh, a different server. Looks like it. I don't know what the problem is. Some indexes failed to download. They have been ignored. Let's try this one more time. Uh, okay, this time it worked. So I don't know what happened. But anyway, now that that's done, let's uh, install Webmin. So it's sudo apt install Webmin and press enter. And then we'll wait for that to finish. I'll probably speed things up because I think this may take a little time. Okay, so definitely I'll speed this part of the video up. Okay, so finally we finished installing uh, Webman. So now I wanna show you what it looks like um, in order to get to it. Uh, if you look right here uh, in the last line of the processing of the actual installation, it says Webman install completed. You can now log in to, you know, Ghost, which is the computer name. But uh, I'm gonna just type in an IP address because that name is not known on my network. 
And anyway, as root with your root password or as any user who can use sudo to run commands. So you could basically use your account and log into it. Show you how to do that. All right, so I already know what the IP address is, but that's all you have to do is type in the IP address, uh, which is 192.168.10.129. So whatever it is on your network, um, type in the IP address for that server. And then you have to put the port behind it, and it uses uh, port 10,000. And actually, I don't think it's gonna work right now because I don't have a port turn the port open so I'm just click on it just to see and I'm pretty sure it doesn't because I didn't open a port so let's go back down to our connection and let's move this over so you guys can see actually let's change it back all right so the command to open up that port is sudo uh, uncomplicated firewall, which is UF, UFW, uh, allow, and actually, you could do lowercase, I'm sorry, allow in port 10,000. And we press in on that, and that should work. That should open a port for it. There we go. And then we can look at the status of, uh, of the firewall let's go uh, sudo ufw status and it'll tell us everything we have open so right now we have uh 10,000 allow um for 10,000 so uh now we can go back to the browser so um just log in using your username password and let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is kind of slow because it's in a VM. That's what I suspect. Um, because my my main server that I actually run this on, it uh, it pulls up way quicker than this. So, but anyway, uh, it pulls up with the host name and just all all the information uh, about the system all basic information it shows you CPU memory usage um, as well as your virtual memory local disk space uh, it gives you a little information on the operating system uh, that's the theme of uh, of webmin uh, kernel CPU just gives you all this basic information that you would want to see you can also update your packages from the dashboard uh, here let me just show you a few more things let's see server you can manage the different servers Apache MySQL SSH you can uh, store and stop services uh, open ports uh, all that good stuff create create directories create a virtual host um, and let's see, PHP configurations, uh, custom command, file management, HTTP tunnel, uh, Java file management, um, SSH login, um, under networking, they have bandwidth and monitoring, uh, Linux firewall, you can manage the firewall from here, which is IP tables. Um, uh, few other things uh, hardware you can set up uh, raid all that uh, they have clustering you know you can go through a mess with that and then also this is a cool thing you might want to check out but they have a bunch of modules you can add to this thing like we don't have bind DNS and all you have to do is click on these and uh, and actually you can install automatically from from webmin and actually when you install a new application it should show up under uh the system services or or applications that are installed so you can manage it from there and like i said this will install the application by 
uh, webmin. It will install bind for you. And then you can go in and configure, configure it. Uh, DHCP failed to ban. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a bunch of cool stuff in here um, that you can install directly from here. Uh, so like I said, this is a good uh, online management software. You don't have to worry about messing with config files as much and messing with the command line as much. You can manage your server, you know, from from the web. And also another thing um, to make this thing more secure, you can to connect to it from outside your network. Uh, it's best to install a cert uh, on the server uh, so your traffic is encrypted. Um, while you're managing your server from uh, from a distance but if you're just messing with it locally you really don't need a cert uh a ssl cert um you can just manage it all um without the cert uh that's only needed if you if you're connecting from outside your network in my opinion but anyway that's pretty much it like i said this is a, a good little piece of software in order to help you without having to use the terminal. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and share with your friends. I have more Linux videos to come, so stay tuned. And of course, keep it techy.